my name is Toastmasters and honored guests. Tonight I will tell you about my life in the restaurant. I will start out with my grandparents opening a restaurant, then my father opening his restaurant, and finally what happened to the restaurant. So let's start out with my grandparents. My grandfather and grandmother came from China and they opened up a restaurant in Lodi and in Oakland. My mother was born in Oakland and it was a successful restaurant, but when the depression came, they moved back to China. And shortly after, my grandfather died. But however, they were able to build a new house in China and they had a farm that provided enough for them to live on. Then, fast forward to my father. My father came from China, obviously, and he worked in a farm and when he was 19, he came to America. He borrowed money to get to America. He was not a legal citizen either. <laughs> so when he came to America, he worked at my uncle's restaurant, and he saved every single penny he had because he didn't get very much. And he shared an apartment with several roommates. And there he worked many long hours, and he saved his money for 10 years until he saved enough money to go back to China and marry a woman. In those days, you don't just find anybody. Your mother or his, her mother arranges you to get married to somebody. So my grandmothers got together and they arranged for them to marry either my aunt or my mother. My mother was the ugly one. <laughs> <laughs> and the fortune teller said, go marry the ugly one. And guess what he did? He married the ugly one. Thank God because my aunt was was hard to get along with. I don't know if their marriage would have lasted. So, so finally, he brings her over from China, and they live in Chinatown, and he works in a restaurant many long hours. We had, I had five sisters and one brother, and, and he saved enough money to buy his own restaurant in San Leandro. So in San Leandro, he worked many long hours. He would only come to home from San Francisco on the weekends. But he was always very friendly and outgoing. He would always say, hi, how are you, to all the customers. And he always greeted everybody, and he was always very caring. So when the church needed potato salads we made, he would make potato salad for them. If the kids needed fundraisers for buying candy or t raffle tickets, he would buy it from them. So he had a very good life there. And then, of course, the kids had to work in the restaurant, so we all pitched in on the weekends and worked in the restaurant. And when I was young, I said, I do not want to ever work in a restaurant when I grow up. <laughs> I ended up working in an office. So there was a time when I really didn't like working in a restaurant because I had no social life when I was a teenager. I went to school Monday through Friday, and I worked in the restaurant Saturday and Sunday. And I really hated it at that time. But now when I go back, I don't really regret that I worked at my family's restaurant because it gave me a lot of job skills and I learned a lot from my father and I did learn how to cook a little bit. <laughs> and you know, it was hard work but when you're young it doesn't really seem that hard because you're young, it doesn't give you any pain to work long hours. But it was... It was different because all my friends were having fun and I had to work in the restaurant. So he finally did sell his restaurant and he started another business. But that's another story. And then after he retired, he, he started living at home with the kids in San Francisco. And then he passed away about five years ago. But I guess when you're 95, that's a long life. Yeah. <laughs> so then, a few years ago, I went to a Toastmaster meeting in San Leandro. And I told my husband, Lou, I said, I want to go to my dad's restaurant and see what it turned out to be. So when he sold his restaurant, it became a northern Chinese restaurant. And then after that, it became a Korean restaurant. And now it's a Filipino restaurant. And I told the owners, I said, my dad used to own this restaurant. They said, really? I said, yes. And so I, I looked around and everything looked so small because when you're young, everything looks so big. And then I went back and looked at the kitchen and the bathroom. I said, oh, everything's changed here. 
And I said, oh, but the food's not as good. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't tell them that. I just ate it. I said, oh, I, I said, man, this, this isn't cooked real fresh because I thought the middle of my chicken adobo wasn't warm enough. And the rice was okay, but I, they still have a real good takeout business there because that's what my dad did a lot of. But what I learned is that you can accomplish anything you want. When my dad came here, he didn't have anything, and he would always tell us, I can do it, I can do it. He never said, I can't. He always said, I could. If you have a dream, you can reach it. There's always goals you can achieve, and never doubt yourself. Always reach your goals and never stop trying to accomplish something. That's probably why I'm still in Toastmasters. <laughs> <laughs> well, with, well, thank you, everybody. <laughs>